So if you don't have a whole selection of coloured ready dyed yarns, one of the things that you can do is actually spend some time with the children dyeing their own yarn. And the material to use is again a natural uh, product. This is dishcloth cotton um, and as you can see it's just a very simple, quite a reasonably thick sort of yarn. Uh, it's plain so it's easy to use. So what I tend to do uh, with the children is to first of all cut a piece of card like this uh, with a couple of notches uh, at the ends and this helps to hold the yarn in place when I'm um, wrapping it around the card so I'm just going to wrap that round another reason for using the card is of course you can write the child's name on the card because they always want their piece um, and it doesn't matter if you cross it over because that actually gives you some quite interesting uh, color variations so this is what you really need to have. Now you can do as many of these as you like in terms of time and number of children. One of the things that makes it uh, more successful, we're going to use the water-based dyes that we had last time, is actually to wet the yarn. That helps the dye to uh, be absorbed into the yarn itself. So just make sure it doesn't have to be absolutely sopping wet, just make sure it's damp. I've got this in an old painting tray which is useful to catch all the um, surplus dye. What we're going to use is the same um, product as we had last time which is the dye in these diffuser bottles. So I can just take aim and so I've got quite a nice yellow but if I want to make that a little bit more interesting I can then add a red to it. So I've now got a range of oranges. Of course on the other side I've got some more white yarn that I can use. So this time I'm going to have a go at some blue. And the more blue you put on an area, obviously the darker the colour. And I'm going to make the top with some yellow, make it go green. So that's just one example. You can, as I said, you can do as many of these as you like. Just going to again make sure it's um, damp so that the dye will actually be absorbed into the yarn. This time I'm going to have a go with some red and some blue. So I'm going to end up with a nice range of purples. If I do all three colours, we'll see what we get. So once these have been dyed, uh, we can put these to one side. I'll take a few days to dry out, but then of course you've got the fun of unwrapping them all. So what we'll do is we'll come back to this in a few days time, uh, see what happens when we unwrap them and then we can use them in our own uh, stitching, embroidery or weaving with the children.